said something about Jamie this the Diamond. other day. Jamie yeah. Dimon said it. And you know what? A lot of Americans knew this a long time before you really rich guys started talking about how bifurcated America is. And that's where we are today. So do you get why some people don't really think that you've yeah. got all the answers, that you rich guys who are, I don't know well, who told you that America's bifurcated. Yeah, I, Somebody I came know. to you and told you that there's a problem because well, I, I rest of America has been living it. I you call me a rich guy, but I grew up in federal, I, I grew I up in private. I understand, but now you're a really, no really, really rich guy. Really yeah, rich yeah, but guy. I'm, <laughs> I'm self-made and I built a company that employed over three million people in the last 40 years and gave health care ownership and free college tuition to every employee. But you get when, yeah, when, when, get when you it. rich guys have, can get into the bifurcation yeah, conversation that I'm the rest not, of us have been having for decades. Yeah, but this is about a lack of leadership in a government of two sides, Democrats and Republicans, who are unwilling to face the issues and solve America's problem. Why do we have a 20, $22 trillion debt? Why do we have a health care crisis? Why do we have K-12 that's not working? Why is our standing in the world not working? Because of both parties' ideology and unwilling to work together. That's why I'm considering running for president. So why is everybody to break the if system? If that's true, why is Britain bifurcated? Why is France bifurcated? Why is Germany bifurcated? Why were the Arab countries bifurcated? It's not actually about Democrats and Republicans. It's about rich people who don't pay taxes, who don't understand that it's not about charity. It's actually about wealth distribution. Right? Why, if that's wait, your explanation, why is wait, Britain bifurcated? I, I, wait, we we, now we're going to talk about what's going no, on. No, but you're telling me that I'm our bifurcation, about, economic bifurcation in America is because of Democrats and Republicans not agreeing on policies? I, why is Britain bifurcated? I'm talking about the lack of leadership and understanding of the fiscal responsibility of elected officials to do the right thing for the American so people. So in each, okay, how each case how that I just outlined... But that's because yes. that's not the answer in all those countries, and yet the world is bifurcated. I'm not, I'm not here talking about all these countries. But you're saying that I'm the talking reason about we're economically bifurcated is because of Republican and Democrat policies, and I'm telling you it's a global issue of wealth concentration, not actually about political disagreement on policies. Do you, you want to talk about each country? You want to put China up here? No, but you I think we can cut this any you way know. you want, right? The, the, uh, how many You're rich wrong. people in America You're wrong. have the wealth of the bottom half of society? How many rich people in the world have the same wealth as the bottom three and a half billion in society? Oxfam says it's under 10. Listen, what, about 28? I didn't create the I policies that. that we are now under. I'm here to tell you that I am looking at the current situation economically in this country, and if you want to solve the problems, you have to have the kind of leadership that cooperates with one another and is not steeped in ideology. Okay, then I'm how, sure you but can here's agree the with issue. That. But then yeah, here's I guess the I, issue. Don't, I don't understand but, how but, that... But, you, know you, can take, but, but you can go from I'm ideology... Gonna, I, I, I'm really clear on how economic bifurcation works. Yeah. I'm concerned not that... Not so, solving the problem. Right, but, the, the, but so, so Republicans and Democrats are not agreeing is why no. Germany is bifurcated? Can I ask you one simple question? Yeah. Should we be spending less than we're taking in? It it's all a yes or no. Where, it, no, no. It, no it's, it's, it's not a yes or no. It's absolutely it not a yes, yes or no. Question. No, it's really not. If you're in a recession and you are, you need to stimulate the economy and you have got a return we're on it. Hold on. Let me wait, just wait, let, you ask me a question. We're not in a recession. Right. But but the answer in that case might be yes. Yeah. So it's not a yes or no question. So suggesting that spending right more than you're taking no, no, in. How about right now? In this moment in time when you just put up these numbers about the economy going so well, should we be spending less than we're taking in? We have to understand what we're spending. We have you don't to want to answer the question? No, I, I, I'm actually answering it in a nuanced way that doesn't suggest that there's a simple answer to, to, to these complicated questions that that plague no. the world. Okay, in all I'm, fairness, it's not complicated to me. I understand When we that. have such a robust economy and we're spending much more than we're taking in. And why? Because the Democrats and Republicans and this president are not doing what they need to do. Right. That but is Howard, to reduce this national debt that right. we have. Let's say you have the best ideas to do so. We yeah. have to talk about a path and process for a moment. Yeah. Because you talk about Mitch McConnell, and while he might not be inspirational, he might not be somebody I want to have over for dinner, yeah. He's a tactical beast. Yes. And let's say you end up in Washington. Yeah. You can end up in President Obama's position where Mitch McConnell said, thanks for playing. I'm about to block you on everything. Mm -hmm. So you don't have the expertise or the experience. How do you take these ideas right. and take this whole tent? By the way, if you ran against John Delaney, your ideas are somewhat similar. You might knock that guy out. How? Where is your okay. path to okay. win and to govern? There's yes. a process okay. and you're outside of it. Am I going to be allowed to answer this question but without being interrupted? Okay, thank you. So here it is. First, let's talk about the theory of the case, okay? First and foremost. In the last 30 plus years, only 8 to 10 battleground states have decided the presidential election. If I enter the race, over 40 states for the first time in 30 plus years will have an opportunity in which your Republican or Democratic vote in a red or blue state will really matter. That changes everything. So there is a path to 270, and it's real. 
And it's real because not only of the math, but because the country is so divided, fed up, exhausted, and disgusted by our political system. And that's a fact. You put up a, a stat before that 50% of Americans don't trust Facebook. 71% of the Americans don't trust our government. We need a change. That's the first stop. Second thing is, now, for the first time since George Washington, if an independent person, if I run, and I'm fortunate enough to get to the White House, can you imagine the historic mandate for the first time in over 200 plus years? We don't want a Democrat, we want a Republican, we want an independent with common sense solutions and leadership skills who has built a global enterprise in 77 countries, understands the world, Russia, China, Syria, the Middle East, this whole aspect and has proven you can build a company and reward your people at the same time. So what do I believe? The American people are gonna to say to all the Republicans and all the Democrats, if you don't work with this independent person who's running for president, we're gonna fire you. So you're running for president? Re yes or no I'm not answer. I'm not question. Oh, that's the question. Yes or no answer. I'm not here to say that today, 